The use of spading to combat non-wetting soils has resulted in dramatic improvements in germination and per hectare yields for Marcha Ghee farmer Michael O'Callaghan. Non-wetting soils are a major problem for farmers in this region of Western Australia. Up to 70% of Mr O'Callaghan's 5,000 hectares of farming country are affected by the phenomena which prevents water from penetrating into the sandy soils. Last year, however, Mr O'Callaghan participated in a Grains Research and Development Corporation spading trial conducted by the Leiby Group in conjunction with WA's Department of Food and Agriculture with very positive results. Well, last year we did trials with the Leiby Group and it was a one kilometre trial in length and there was uh, three reps and we got an average of a 0.9 of a tonne increase in the spaded area and spading is a system that actually pays for itself in one year which is very very good. But Mr O'Callaghan says there are a number of considerations to take into account when spading including machinery setup and managing for wind erosion. It's like a, a very big rotary hoe but it does more than a rotary hoe in that it's designed to mix soil in the spaded zone which is usually about 30 to 35 centimetres. We have a contour drill, hydraulic tines and we can put the machine into float and we just float the, the tines on the surface and drop the, the seed about five millimetres, so very, very shallow seeding. Because we've changed the soil at the surface, we can get a germination at that depth where we couldn't before. If you had the time and the foresight, you could probably look at putting a very big straw-based crop in the year before, like a cereal rye or a, say, a magenta wheat, and spade that into the soil. But wind erosion is the biggest problem and you should try and spade as late as possible. Um, I would say don't start spading until the beginning of May and then spade as long as you can deeper into June and therefore hopefully you've got some moisture in the soil which is, is not imperative but you're into a, a time period where there's less chance of wind erosion and you can put the crop in straight after you spade.